George Collins walked out one me morning when May was all in bloom, and who should he see but a fair pretty maid washing her white marble stone? She whooped, she hollered. She called so low. She waved her lily white hand. Come hither to me, Judge Collins, cried she. For your life, it won't last you long. He put his bent boat down by my side. Cross the river, spring he. He clipped his hands round a middle so small, and he kissed her red rosy cheeks. Then he rode home to his father's own house, loudly knocked at the ring. Arise, arise, dear father, he cried, arise and please let me in. Arise, arise, dear mother, he cried, arise and make us my bed. Arise, arise, dear sister, he cried, get a napkin to tie round my head. For if I should die tonight, as I suppose I shall, please bury me neath that white marble stone that lies in fair Ellen's hall. Fair Linda sat all in the hall, weaving her silk so fine, when who should she see but the finest corpse that ever her eyes shone on? Fair Linda called unto her headmaid, whose corpse is this so, so fine? She made her reply, George Collins's corpse, an old true lover of mine. Oh, put him down, my brave little boys, and open his coffin so wide that I may kiss his red ruby lips ten thousand times they've kissed mine. This news been carried to fair London town, wrote on London gate. Six pretty maids died all in one night. Was all for George Collins' sake.